so if you haven't been online for a very long time then there's something i have to tell you but if you have then i'm sure you've heard of this tool called chat gpt and the question is what is chat gpt because a lot of people have made noise about it shared content about it even with how you can even integrate chat gpt in your current mode of work and so many things have been said about it but what is chat gpt so chat gpt is a generative pre-trained transformer which means that it works like a chatbot you understand and um, it just gives you answers and um does all of this in an interactive way and this is one of the reasons why chat gpt stands out from the other chatbot we have out there i've tried it and i want to share my experiences in this video so without any further ado don't go anywhere and i'll be right back after the intro You know, after I heard a lot of people talking about ChatGPT, I was actually curious to try it out and just also to share my own opinion about it. But before, just to give you a heads up, if you are trying it, you know, depending on the time you're trying it, you might not have access to it because it's now one of the main sensation now on the internet and so many people are trying it out. So you'd have to try a couple of times before you finally get access into ChatGPT. So if you're a content creator and you're a designer, look ai is actually coming for all of us but i don't think it's actually coming to replace you and me but it's rather coming to help make us superhumans which means that if you were to spend two hours on certain things with the help of ai you can now you know create the same number of things or even more within the shortest possible time you understand let's jump into chat gpt and let's see how we can use it in our work so when you finally get into ChatGPT, this is how everything should look you know a very simple interface and they get to give you some of the things you can do in terms of the queries and all of that which makes sense you understand so we are actually going to try chat gpt on several levels you understand and one of the things i did using chat gpt is i used it to generate content topics which i'm sure you've heard of it so in terms of generating content topic you can use chat gpt for that you understand so for example i can just say generate okay content ideas on canva you know because i'm a canva user so definitely i'll go in to say something like that and you can see um it's giving us a number of things we can actually hit when it comes to canva so business presentations infographics social media graphics marketing materials ebook covers you know which means that this is actually pretty pretty good because um it just tells me that chat gpt has learned about canva and it knows what canva is about so it's able to you know create topic ideas depending on what canva can be used for and i believe this is one of the interesting thing i love about chat gpt but um what makes it interesting is that you can always regenerate the responses so once you click on this response it will try to refine it and come up with fresh um ideas for you okay so um it wouldn't always give you fresh ideas depending on what you are searching for but you know i think so far it's been good I, chat gpt is one of the cool um uh, tools we can actually do okay so that's one of the things i did with chat gpt now the thing is that sometimes with the response it may give you wouldn't be the best okay so what you can do is you can fill in information about whatever you are looking for okay so let's say with canva this is what i can do let me just show you i can come into canva okay so i can come into canva and i can go into maybe one of the uh, tools okay so the features let's see um let's go to team templates okay so let's go into that and um, let's see so i can also just copy all of this information over here okay maybe let me just see up to this right copy come here and paste it here you understand so i've just sent it so that chat gpt can just learn about it okay so it's just giving us whatever it thinks about it but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to say generate you know topics on the information given okay so let me just uh, so now let's see what it's saying you know so it's now giving us the benefit of using canva for teams which i think is a very good idea because it was part of the things we actually copied you know because it's part of the things we actually entered and it's also saying that how to generate a consistent brand identity with canva which i think is so beautiful so with this it gives us a detailed look into some content ideas we can actually create depending on the information we drop into it and i think this is one of the powerful things about chat gpt so we can see so many ideas okay and um, that's so beautiful that's so beautiful like it's still generating more and more and more for us wow this is beautiful so once you have something like this you know you can just build upon this so this should always be the foundation of your content idea or maybe you're trying to come up with some ideas this can be the foundation of it get the idea and build on top of it and with the help of chat gpt you can always use it to help you in creating good content okay yeah 
So the other thing I did with ChatGPT was to refine my titles and my descriptions for YouTube. Let me show you what I did. Okay, so I will just, let me just uh, share my screen. And um, I actually have my second screen on my YouTube studio. Okay, so let me just pull one of them up. Um, okay, so you can see what we have over here. This is one content I have on YouTube. So I can just copy this, okay, minimize this and come into ChatGPT. So I can paste it here and I can just come down and say refine the title okay and let's see what chat gpt can you know come up with so you can see it's saying streamline your video editing process with canvas improved video editing feature and this is mind busting wow like this is interesting because i there was no way i could think of that you know maybe even i could think about it i don't think it ever crossed my mind to use this kind of title but but seeing what chat gpt had been able to generate even from my title refining it and making it sound sweeter i think is one of the powerful things you can actually do with chat gpt so look i think you should integrate it in every process of your work and that's what will make it powerful and that's what will also make you powerful because these tools are here to help us and not to replace us don't let it replace you that's the thing and that's what i have to see okay then now let's see with my description okay so I'll still go back, okay, and I will, you know, I'll just copy it and I will paste it here and I'll say refine the description for YouTube. Let's see what it can say. Okay, so join me in discovering the new element timing feature in Canva, the game changing tool for video editing. With this feature, you can effortlessly position elements like photos, text, images, shapes, and more at any preferred section of your video. Say goodbye to the hassle of manual track timing adjustments and hello to creative freedom. I've tested this feature and I absolutely love it. Okay, so don't just take my word for it. Check out my full video on YouTube and see it for yourself. Follow the link in my bio okay so it means that you know it's giving us its own idea but this is something you can use as a teaser for other things so you understand so even though it's not really perfect for youtube description because there are certain things that we may take out and um refine a little bit but this is still perfect on my opinion this is perfect i don't know what else can be placed with, but i think this is perfect depending on what it's been able to give us you understand so let's see the third thing i actually tried with chat gpt and um i'm sure this will give you an idea of what you can also use it for so this is the thing there was a time i had to send an email to a client and i was just so tired i didn't want to do a lot of thinking around that time but it was urgent i sent the email to the client so what i did was i came into chat gpt and i asked it for some suggestions concerning um, an email i want to send out to a client and the response was interesting i didn't save the response or screenshot the response but i want us to take a look at something okay so let's go into chat gpt i will just say generate okay an email to a client telling him about the change in price in price in my services okay now let's see what chat gpt can say about this okay so subject update on the change in price for our services dear client i hope this mail this email finds you in good health and spirit i'm writing to let you know about a recent change in price of our services after conducting a thorough analysis of the market okay we have decided to adjust the prices to better align with industry standards and provide the best possible value to our clients our services will retain the same high quality and level of professionalism but with a new more competitive price point this change will allow us to continue to invest in new technologies and resources so we can continue to deliver top-notch services to you and all of our clients i would like to thank you for your continued support and loyalty to our business our team is committed to providing you with the best possible experience and customer service and we believe that these changes would help us do that if you have any questions or concerns about this change please do not hesitate to reach out to me directly i would be more than happy to discuss the details with you thank you for your understanding and i look forward to continuing our business relationship wow 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 this is so sweet like oh my goodness i am in love with this so you can see that you can actually use your activities for so many interesting things like this is so cool who would have expected such a thing to come out from 
an AI tool. You understand? And that's this is one of the things that makes ChatGPT interesting. You can literally use it for anything. But the thing is, at this point, it's just a language model. You understand? So just on a text text basis, it can generate ideas for you, give you suggestions, and help you certain things you can do. However, you can't really use it for things like making it automate emails for you, making it publish your videos. No, 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 no. You can't use it at the moment. But um, one of the updates that came up recently was that it now can perform calculated queries. Okay, so just in case you enter, let's say 2 plus 2, it can give you an answer. From the beginning, it couldn't do that for you, but now it's possible. So they keep refining it and making it better and better and better as it goes by. And I'm sure you heard the news that Bing, which is Microsoft's search engine, you know, they are looking at integrating ChatGPT into it, and I'm sure this will make it more powerful than Google. I'm just saying, and I think because looking at what it can do now, I'm sure it will be able to do much more once you know it gets to be integrated into Bing. So, you know, let's just see what comes out of it. Another thing I heard was that and i haven't tried it but a team member made it known to me that ChatGPT can help even generate some html code or for any program language you can use ChatGPT to help generate ideas so let's see how that works okay generate an html okay html code for a portfolio website okay so portfolio website i would actually try this because you know i have some sort of html background and the um, website background so we will try it out let's see oh my goodness oh my goodness it's actually writing the code it's actually writing the code. oh boy wow <laughs> oh lord of mercy it's saying network error i think i don't know why okay so maybe we just the only one message can be generated at a time Please allow other responses to complete before sent. So it looks like we crashed chat GPT and we'll just leave it here. But what is my thought on chat GPT? I think that this is a tool, you know, you can actually use for whatever you have to do. And um, integrating it now would be the best thing you can ever do because why rack your brains for an hour to generate topics when you can just use a tool to do this within just a few um, seconds, you understand? And, um, and it makes it so easy to do so many things at once, you understand? So I think as content creators as designers this is one of the best tools we can actually add to our arsenal of tools so that we can be able to do more things within the shortest possible time so yeah this is my tool go out there try chat gpt and you can always let me know what you actually think about this in the comment section below the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity i will see you in my next video okay. My job, that includes whipping and keeping the recipes. Uh, I cannot stop, I gotta get it till legends are next to me. Uh, till legends are next to me, I plead do not text to me. Uh, I'm trying to get it, uh, working to become the